We'll start today by finding a comfortable seat on the mat. Be sure to pull the flesh away from the sit bones so that you're starting with a stable foundation. Bring the navel in towards your spine and allow the crown of the head to reach towards the sky. Draw the shoulder blades together and down your back as if you're putting your shoulder blades in your back pockets. Place your hands on the thighs, palms up, and close your eyes. Become aware of your breath. And if you're able, allow that breath to flow in through the nose and out through the nose. Let the inhale be the same length as the exhale. With each inhale, allow the spine to grow tall. And as you exhale, keep that length in the spine, but just begin to release tension. Relax the jaw, relax the shoulders. Today's class focuses on warrior poses. And in Sanskrit, you'll hear me say Vira Bhadrasana 1 or Vira Bhadrasana 2. And Vira Bhadra is the one that these warrior poses are named after. So we add asana on the end to make it warrior pose. Vira Bhadra was created by Shiva the Hindu god who represents destruction or the dissolution of the universe back into divine spirit. To be one of his most trusted guards and generals and a great protector of the sages. Virabhadra, which means distinguished hero, was credited to destroying many demons and did numerous benevolent acts in protecting holy beings in Hindu mythology. Some consider him to be an incarnation of Shiva himself. So when we do any of the Virabhadra asanas, we are attempting to embody the inner qualities of one of the most revered representations of the warrior archetype. These warrior qualities are empowerment, courage, clarity, and non-attachment. You can also think about courage, perseverance, and self-empowerment when you think of the warrior postures. Other warrior qualities that may come to mind, confidence, strength, discipline, being active, and bravery. Bring the hands together at the heart in Anjali Mudra. We'll breathe together three times and on the third exhale, share the sound of Om. Take a nice deep breath in through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Inhale. And exhale. And for the third time together, inhale. Oh. Bow your head. Place the hands on the thighs. Softly open the eyes looking forward. We're going to start today laying on our backs. So just lay down comfortably on your back. Your legs can be extended out nice and long, and the arms are by your sides. Place your left hand on your belly, and as you inhale, feel the belly rise, and as you exhale, feel the belly fall.
keeping that left hand on the belly, place the right hand on your chest. As you inhale, feel the belly rise, followed by the chest. And as you exhale, feel the chest fall, followed by the belly. Inhale, belly rises, followed by the chest. Exhale, chest falls, followed by the belly. And now bring your arms by your sides. As you inhale, arms come up overhead until those thumbs touch the space behind you. And as you exhale, arms come back down by your sides. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms come back down. next time the arms come by your sides, pause there. Draw both knees into the chest, placing the right hand on the right knee and the left hand on the left knee. As you inhale, let the knees pull away from your chest, your arms will straighten. And as you exhale, draw the knees back in. Inhale, knees pull away. Exhale, draw them back in. Hug both knees in and place the hands on the right knee, extending the left leg out nice and long. Bring the hands to the back of the thigh so it's they're sandwiched between the thigh and the calf, the back of the thigh and the calf. Really hug the right knee to the chest and as you inhale, straighten the leg as much as you can and then exhale, bend that knee. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. The next time the right knee bends, extend that right leg out nice and long. Draw the left knee in, placing the hands on the back of the thigh, sandwiched between the back of the thigh and the calf. Hug that left knee in. Inhale, straighten the leg. Exhale, bend the knee. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. After you bend that left knee once more, place the sole of the left foot on the mat and then bend the right knee, placing the sole of that foot on the mat. Cross the right ankle over your left thigh and then take the hands around the left thigh, drawing the knees in towards the chest. Keeping the right ankle over your left thigh, lower the left foot to the mat 
and then bring your arms out like a T, the palms face the sky. Take a breath in and as you exhale, begin to tip the legs over to the left. So you're rolling to the pinky toe side of the left foot. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, tip the legs over to the right as you roll to the big toe side of that left foot. Inhale, back up and continue moving with your breath, rolling from one side of the foot to the other. Next time the sole of the left foot is flat on the mat, pause there. Lower the right foot. Cross the left ankle over the right thigh. Take the hands around that right thigh, draw the legs in. Keeping the left ankle over the right thigh, lower the right foot to the mat, arms come back out like a T. Take a breath in and as you exhale, tip the legs over to the right as you roll to the pinky toe side of that right foot. Inhale, come back up. And as you exhale, tip the legs over to the left as you roll to the big toe side of that right foot. Inhale, up. Continue moving with the breath, rolling from one side of the right foot to the other. The next time the sole of the right foot is flat on the mat, pause there. Lower the left foot. Draw the knees into the chest and begin to rock head to tail, bringing yourself up to Sukhasana. Easy pose. Be sure to adjust the sit bones as needed and bring your arms by your sides. As you inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, arms lower. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. The next time those arms are up overhead, allow the palms to come together to touch. And as you exhale, bring the hands together at your heart. Place the hands on the knees. Take a breath in and as you exhale, round the spine towards the space behind you. As you inhale, the belly comes forward, the back arches. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, belly comes forward. yourself back to a neutral neck, neutral spine. So you're going to bend both knees and place the soles of the feet on the mat. Take your left hand under the left leg and grasp your right ankle. Slide the right foot under that left leg so that the right foot ends up next to your left hip and you're going to flex the right foot. You can stay just like this or 
pick up the left foot and bring it to the outside of the right thigh. But to take this position, make sure the sit bones are rooted down. If one of them is popping up, bring the foot back to where it was before. Take your left hand behind the left hip, wrap the right arm around the left knee. Press down through the sit bones, inhale, lengthen. As you exhale, begin to twist to the left. Root down through your sit bones. Inhale, lengthen. As you exhale, bring yourself back to center. If your left foot is in that second stage, bring it back to the first and then slide the right foot out. Next, take the right hand under that right leg and grasp your left ankle. Slide the left foot under the right leg, bringing that left foot next to the right hip flex the left foot. You can stay just like this, or if you can keep your sit bones rooted down, pick up the right foot and bring it to the outside of that left thigh. Bring your right hand behind your right hip, wrap the left arm around that right knee. Press down through your sit bones, inhale, grow tall. As you exhale, twist to your right. Press down through your sit bones. Inhale, lengthen. As you exhale, slowly bring yourself back to center. Pick up the right foot, bring it back. Slide the left foot out. Let's come to all fours, hands and knees. Remember that when you're on all fours, the knees are just hip width apart and the knees are slightly behind your hips. Hi Clementine. The hands are just shoulder width apart. How are you? And they are slightly forward of your shoulders. The tops of the feet are flat on the mat and you're pressing down through the tops of the toes and the fingers. Take a breath in as you exhale Shift the hips to the heels, the chest to the thighs, coming to extended child's pose. As you inhale, come up all fours. Exhale, back to child's pose. Inhale, up all fours. One more time. When you come back up to all fours, pause there. Step the right foot forward between the hands. And then as you inhale, arms sweep up. So notice that my right knee is not jutting out past the ankle. My fingertips are active, my arms are strong. If it's too much to have the arms up overhead, feel free to bring the hands to the hips. Bring the arms out like a T, palms face the floor. Take a breath in and as you exhale, begin to twist to the left, gazing out over those right fingertips. So sometimes when I do this, my, um, this arm here, I have some shoulder issues. So you may see me just bend that arm and that's me modifying. Remember, you can modify your poses as well. Cartwheel the hands down, one on either side of your right foot. Step the right knee back to meet the left. Take a breath in as you exhale, shift those hips back. Inhale up all fours. Step that left foot forward between the hands. On the inhale, arms sweep up. Breathe here and then bring those arms out like a T, palms face the floor. Take a breath in, as you exhale, begin to twist to the right, gazing out over those left fingertips.
cartwheel the hands down, one on either side of your left foot. Step the left knee back to meet the right. Take a breath in. As you exhale, shift back to child's pose. Inhale up, all fours. We'll begin to move into downward facing dog. So from here, curl the toes under. Start to shift the hips towards the wall behind you. Lift the knees and then press back through the heels, coming to downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Start to walk the feet forward, coming to Uttanasana, forward fold. Relax the head and neck here. You can gently turn the head from side to side. Place your hands on your hips. Press down through the feet to come up. So we'll stand in Tadasana. There are three main warrior poses, and there's, I think, two others that I know about that aren't really the main ones, and then there's always variations. So we're going to start with Virabhadrasana 1, Warrior 1, and we'll start from Tadasana. So here, you're going to take a nice big step back with the right foot. Make sure the right toes point out slightly to the right. If you look down at your feet, for the most part, the left heel is intersecting with the right arch, but it doesn't have to be exact. Gaze forward. As you inhale, arms sweep up. On the exhale, you're going to bend the left knee. So the most important thing to me for you to learn about warrior poses is this front knee. Oftentimes you'll see people with that knee jutting way out past the toes. And when that happens, you're dumping all of your weight into the knee joint. But if we make sure that the left knee is on top of the ankle or slightly behind it, our quads begin to work. Breathe here. We're pressing down through the outer edge of the back foot. Navel draws in. Our arms are strong and active, or as a modification, the hands can come to the hips. As you inhale, straighten the left leg. Exhale, lower the arms, and then step the right foot forward. Next. Take a nice big step back with that left foot. Left toes turn out to the left slightly. Torso faces straight ahead. As you inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, bend that right knee. And if you find that your right knee is jutting out past the ankle, widen your stance a bit. Cultivating traits of the warrior Focus, perseverance, confidence. As you inhale, straighten the right leg. Exhale, lower the arms. Step the left foot forward. Let's come to a wide-legged stance on the mat. The outer edges of the feet are parallel to the outer edges of the mat. So we're going to practice Virabhadrasana 2, Warrior 2. And there are many different ways to get into the poses. Um, as you know, sometimes we flow right from Warrior 1 to Warrior 2, but I'm going to break them down for you separately today. So the outer edges of the feet are parallel to the outer edges of the mat. Come up on the heel of your left foot and turn the toes in slightly. Come up on the heel of the right foot, toes turn out 90 degrees. So again, you look down for the most part, that right heel is intersecting with the left arch. Arms come out like a T. 
So to open the chest a little bit, we can make a tiny little adjustment. And that is to turn the palms to face the sky, drawing the shoulder blades together and down the back. So that helps to open the chest. We wanna keep all of that and just turn the palms to face the floor. Gaze out over the right fingertips. Take a breath in and as you exhale, let the right knee bend. And again, if you find that your right um, knee is jutting out past the ankle, widen the stance there. Arms are strong and active, or hands are on our hips. So just imagine you're a warrior gazing out over your battlefield with poise, determination. As you inhale, straighten the right leg. Exhale, lower the arms, bring the feet back to parallel. So the outer edges of the feet line up with the outer edges of your mat. Next, come up on the heel of that right foot. Toes turn in slightly. Come up on the heel of the left foot. Toes turn out 90 degrees. Arms come parallel to the mat. Gaze out over the left fingertips. Take a breath in and as you exhale, bend the left knee. So the arms are strong and active. A lot of times I'll just see people kind of like hanging out, but we're a warrior. Our arms are strong and active or our hands are placed on our hips. Breathe. Another thing to look out for, the front knee often will fall in towards the big toe, but we want that knee to track more towards the pinky toe. As you inhale, straighten the left leg. Exhale, lower your arms, bring your feet to parallel. Inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, fold forward. Bring the hands to the hips, press down through the feet to come up. Bring your feet back to Tadasana, stand at the top of the mat. So we're going to do warrior one and two again, but we're going to flow from one to the other, and we're going to enter through downward facing dog. So as you inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, hinge from the hips, folding forward. From here, step back to downward facing dog. Sweep that right leg out behind you and then you're going to float forward as you step the right foot forward. Another option is just to pick the foot up and move it. From here, we'll root down through the sole of that left foot, toes point out slightly. As you inhale, come on up, arms overhead, Virabhadrasana one, warrior one. Bring your arms out like a T, palms face the floor. Take a breath in, as you exhale, begin to twist to your left as you gaze out over the right fingertips for warrior two. So notice nothing from the hips down changed between the two poses. Here, we're going to cartwheel the hands down, one on either side of the right foot, and step back to downward facing dog. Sweep the left leg out behind you. Step it forward between your hands or pick it up and move it. Root down through the sole of the right foot. Toes point out slightly as you inhale. Arms come up. Virabhadrasana one. Bring those arms out like a T. Palms face the floor. Take a breath in and as you exhale, begin to twist to the right as you gaze out over the left fingertips. Cartwheel the hands down, one on either side of the left foot. Step back, down dog.
Walk the feet forward, coming to Uttanasana, forward fold. Press down through the feet, inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. So next, we are going to work on Virabhadrasana 3, Warrior 3. This pose is more challenging, it involves balance. So I like to tell people to have fun with it. If you're near a wall, don't be afraid to put a hand on there for a little help. So we're going to start in warrior one. So take a nice big step back with that right foot. Toes point out slightly to the right on the right foot. Other toes point straight ahead. Inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, left knee bends. So let's make sure our alignment is all set here first before we move into Virabhadrasana 3. To do that, come up on the ball of your right foot. We're trying to get all of the weight into the left foot. So you can make just some little tiny hops forward, getting the weight into the left foot. And when you feel ready, push off, hinge from the hips. So your fingertips can reach towards the space in front of you. You could bring your hands together at your heart or bring the arms by your sides like airplane wings. Remember to breathe here. Hands come to the heart and then you're going to come in for your landing. So step that right foot back, arms up overhead, warrior one. As you inhale, straighten the left leg. Exhale, lower the arms. Step that right foot forward, back to Tadasana, Mountain Pose. Take a nice big step back with that left foot. Left toes point out slightly. Inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, bend the right knee. Root down through the outer edge of the back foot. Arms are strong and active or hands are on your hips. The right knee is tracking towards that pinky toe. Come up on the ball of the left foot. Make your little hops forward, putting the weight into that right foot. And when you're ready, push off, hinge from those hips. Breathe. Virabhadrasana three. We'll come in for our landing. So start to bend the right knee, plant that left foot back on the mat, arms sweep up, straighten the right leg, lower the arms, and then step the left foot forward, coming back to Tadasana. So we've done warrior one, two, and three. I want to show you now two variations of warrior pose, reverse warrior and humble or peaceful warrior. So stand at the top of the mat. Inhale, arms sweep up. As you exhale, hinge from the hips, folding forward. Step the feet back to downward facing dog. Sweep that right leg out behind you. Float forward as you step the foot forward or just pick it up and move it. Root down through the sole of the left foot. Toes point out slightly. Inhale, rise, Virabhadrasana one. So for reverse warrior, we're taking a back bend. Whichever leg is in the back, your left leg here, you're going to take that left hand and place it on the back of that thigh. Then draw an arch across the sky as you take it back. So we're taking a back bend. The depth of that back bend is up to you. But notice again, nothing from my hips down has changed. Oftentimes your quad might start burning here. Focus on your breath. Press down through the feet to bring yourself back up. Cartwheel the hands down, one on either side of the right foot. Step back, down dog.
sweep the left leg out behind you. Step the left foot forward. Root down through the sole of the right foot. Toes point out to the right slightly. We start by inhaling up, Virabhadrasana one. Take that right hand to the back of that right thigh. And you're lifting the back of the right thigh towards the sky here. Draw an arch across the sky, taking it back. Reverse warrior. Breathe. Slowly bring yourself back up. Cartwheel the hands down, one on either side of the left foot. Step back. Down dog. Start to walk the feet forward once again, coming to Uttanasana, forward fold. Press down through the feet, inhale all the way up, exhale, hands to heart. Next, we'll practice Humble Warrior, and this one is more of a forward fold. So again, we're going to move in it through Virabhadrasana 1. So take a nice big step back with that right foot. Toes point out to the right slightly, rooting down through the pinky toe side of that foot. Inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, bend the left knee. Virabhadrasana one, warrior one. So here you're going to sweep the arms back behind you and clasp the hands together. Shoulder blades together and down your back here. Take a breath in. As you exhale, hinge from the hips, folding forward. Breathe. This is humble warrior, peaceful warrior. My body is to the inside of that left knee. Press down through the feet to bring yourself up. Release your arms. Step that right foot forward to meet the left. Take a nice big step back with the left foot. Toes point out to the left slightly. Inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, right knee bend. Sweep those arms towards the space behind you. Clasp the hands together. Shoulder blades together and down the back. Navel draws in towards your spine. Take a breath in as you exhale. Hinge from the hips. Folding forward. From here, release the hands, placing them one on either side of your right foot, and step back to downward facing dog. Start to bend the knees, go back to go back down into child's pose. As you inhale, come up all fours. Exhale to child's pose. Inhale up all fours. Continue moving with your breath here. next time you come up to all fours, pause there. Take a breath in. As you exhale, round the spine towards the sky. As you inhale, belly draws down, bottom and the head reach towards the sky. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, belly draws down. back 
to a neutral neck, neutral spine. As you inhale, that left arm sweeps up towards the sky. And then as you exhale, it sweeps back down. Thread the needle through that right arm, right side body. Left shoulder, left side of the head come to the mat. So you can keep your right hand where it is to help keep weight out of the neck. Or if your neck is okay, if you're able to keep weight out of it in another way, you can reach that right arm up towards the sky. Lower the right hand, press the floor away, come back to all fours. Sweep the right arm up towards the sky. As you exhale, it comes back down as you thread the needle through that left arm, left side body. Left shoulder, I'm sorry, right shoulder, right side of the head come to the mat. So you can stay just like this or sweep that left arm up towards the sky. Slowly lower that left hand back to the mat. Press the floor away, coming to all fours. We're going to come to lay on our backs. You can draw the knees into the chest. And then place both hands on the right knee. Extend that left leg nice and long. Sandwich the hands between the back of the thigh and the calf. And as you inhale, straighten that leg as much as you can. Exhale, bend the knee. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. One more time. Draw the left knee in, place the hands between the back of the thigh and the calf, extend the right leg nice and long. Hug that left knee in, inhale, straighten, exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten, exhale, bend. One more time. Draw the right knee in to meet the left. Place the right hand on the right knee, the left hand on the left knee. As you inhale, the knees pull away from the chest, the arms straighten. As you exhale, pull the knees in. Inhale, knees pull away from the chest. Exhale, draw those knees in. those knees in once more. We're going to begin to transition into Shavasana. So if there's anything that you need to be comfortable for this time, please feel free to grab it. And then once you have what you need, you can just come to lay on your back comfortably. The legs are extended out nice and long. And allow the feet to just flop open. Arms are by your sides, a few inches away from the body, and the palms face the ceiling. Relax the jaw by creating a space between the top and bottom rows of teeth. Let the tongue fall away from the roof of the mouth, and let your eyes just rest in their sockets. Resist the urge to make subtle movement. Let your natural breath take over. Rest in Shavasana.
slowly start to deepen the breath, becoming aware of the space around you, becoming aware of your body. You can start to make subtle movements that feel good. Wiggle the fingers and toes, rotate through the wrists and the ankles and turn that head gently from side to side. Stretch through the arms and the legs like you're just waking up and then roll to the right side in the fetal position. Keeping the eyes closed if you'd like. Use the arms to bring yourself back up to a comfortable seated position. And once you get there, you can bring your hands together at the heart in Anjali Mudra. Thank you for sharing your practice with me today. Thank you for learning about the various warrior poses in yoga, as well as a little bit about the mythology behind it. May you be happy, may you be peaceful, May you be free from suffering. May you have ease and well-being. Namaste. Thank you all very much.